Group A leaders Surrey lost for the first time, going down by three wickets with 20 balls to spare in Taunton. The Royal London One Day Cup has been enjoyed by Surrey opener Stephen Davis, who scored more runs than anybody else this year. His latest 100, his second of this tournament to go with two 90s, took his tally of runners to a rather remarkable 475 from only six knocks. Here he put the loss of Jason Roy to the second ball of the match after the visitors had been asked to bat first behind him as he went on to make 111. His latest century arrived off his 102nd delivery with this couple off Jack Leach. Davis had struck 11 fours and by the end of the 40th over... He'd taken the total to 220 for three after Rory Burns had made 76 and Gary Wilson was on his way to his own half century. Yet only 47 more runs were added. The match turning the moment Davis hit Lewis Gregory to Tom Cooper in the deep. Craig Overton, who'd earlier taken the wickets of Roy and Burns, then had James Burke taken behind for a single on his return to Taunton. Craig's twin Jamie then took over at the death. He had Sam Curran nicking off. Before he removed both Wilson for 59 and Gareth Batty in the last over, as Surrey were all out for 267. Jamie with figures of 3 for 52 from 9.5 overs and Craig with 3 for 37 from his 10. Surrey had lost their last seven wickets for 46 runs. Still, another win for the visitors seemed the most likely outcome when Cooper was out to Batty, a wicket which left Somerset on 148 for 5, 120 more to get off 24 overs. Jim Allenby and Alex Barrow kept their side in it with a stand of 70 in 13 and a half overs, but when two more wickets fell quickly, including that of the unlucky Gregory, the home team were left on 221 for 7. That left 47 runs required from the last nine overs, but Somerset had only three wickets in hand. That equation came down to around a runner ball as we entered the final five, only for Craig Overton to show everyone his batting skills. He went after Tom Curran hitting the seamer for four boundaries in one over, one which cost 20. From the last eight legal balls he faced, Craig hit five fours and then this six to win the match. He ended on a 40 made off only 22 deliveries, and that was enough to win his side the game, Allenby admiring from the other end with a steady 53. So Somerset took the game by three wickets with 20 balls unused. The result does nothing for their qualification dreams, however. Surrey remain top of the group as they now head to Bristol for a group-winning decider against Gloucestershire.